Hi, welcome back to brainstemschool.com and today we're going to talk about the split and join methods. Split and join are the yin and yang of strings and lists. So split, let's take split first. The concept of split is if you have a list, if I'm sorry, if you have a string and you want to break it up into pieces, you would use the split method. So once again over in the interactive window, Let's start with a string that has some kind of a repeating pattern, like a comma separated list. Now we'll take that comma separated list and we will split it into pieces. Now notice how I put the comma as the argument to the split function. Furthermore, notice how I use the dot operator. The dot operator tells us that the split function is a member of this string of stuff, which is a string. So any string can be operated on by the split method. And now if I were to inspect the list of stuff, we see that it is now a list of the items that were in the original string. So just to further demonstrate it, if I were to index list of stuff, In this case, the first, uh, the second element, element number one, is milk. But if I were to index string of stuff, the second element is the letter G in eggs because it is one big string. And just as split will take a string and break it up into pieces, join will take a list and bring it together. So we can take our list of stuff actually join it operates on a string so it joins a little confusing in the in the syntax so what you do is actually in the parentheses in the uh, in the quotes you put whatever you want to join the string around so originally we had our string our list joined around commas, this time we're going to put semicolons. So what we're saying is we take that semicolon and we join the list of stuff around those semicolons. And let's assign it to, uh, let's call it our new string. And now to inspect new string, you see that the semicolons are placed between the elements instead of commas as were in the original. A couple things to note. First off, the uh, delimiters, which are of course the characters that tell the computer when uh, one piece of it starts and stops, can be anything. They can be any character on the keyboard. They can even be a string. So for instance, if I have a string that's called uh, a string that has the value Okay, my cat dog cat has cat fleas. And I were to split that string around the word cat. And in this example, I'm going to put a space cat space because every cat is surrounded by two spaces. You'll see the result is a list of items my dog has and fleas. So we can split around uh, a string that has more than one character in it. And you can do the exact same thing for join. And later on in, in further lessons, we'll talk about how to actually make, a, make this very useful feature uh, work for you in list processing and uh, code processing and so forth. But other than that, have a great rest of the day. Enjoy the weekend if you're watching this um, when it comes out. And head over to brainstemschool.com. Make sure and subscribe to the YouTube feed and check out the ebook. Happy coding.